to Flat Creek Digital. Um, we're going to try and do this video again, but on the GoPro, so uh, maybe this won't cut off on me. My phone kept overheating on the last video. Um, I have the Heather Navy shirt this time in the Gildan brand, and that's what we're going to try and do the cowhide bleach on today. So I got my gloves on. Make sure you wear your gloves. Um, if you're doing a lot of them, the bleach does start to burn your hands, so please wear gloves. All right, and we're going to start off by scrunching your shirt. Just scrunch it the best you can. And try to make it as small as you can. I've got my little taco sauce bottle that I put my bleach in. Just straight bleach. And you're just going to start pouring it back and forth. Try to do a good bit. And then you're going to scrunch. Make sure you're scrunching good. Alright, and we're going to flip it over. I don't have my towel with me to clean up all the bleach spots, but maybe it'll be okay. All right, and just scrunch again. Actually, let's open it up and scrunch it again. Back and forth, go diagonal, up and down. Bleach. I don't know if you can see all these love bugs are horrible. Okay. Now that we got that, we're gonna open it up. Hopefully, all well, the bleach is going off the table here. Open it up. I'm going to get my, my lid. I'm going to place it in the center. Sometimes it helps to pick up the shirt. Get it on there good. centered as much as you can. That way your image will be centered when you trace it. Alright. I trace my image with uh, butcher paper and so I'm not placing my image on the bleach and ruining my image. I'm just going to do the three fingers down from the collar and try to Make sure your center with your image. Oops. Wind is bad today. All right. Get my flower. And just trace my image with the flower. And like I said, I just throw it around that way it gives me a general idea. Where to trace my image. I got my jar here filled with bleach. Again, just straight bleach. And then just start painting your outline. I use this kind of brush. I'm kind of in the way of the sun, so there's shadow going on, but hopefully y'all can see good.
just trace around with that outline and start filling it in. And like I said before in my other video, you could spray it. I just like the way this looks. But it's all about how you like the way it looks. I didn't put my hair up today. Hopefully I don't bleach my hair. to be kind of quick with it. Don't get impatient and pour it on. Kind of step back, take a look, see if there's any spots you miss. pretty good. Alright. Now that you have that, you're just going to let it sit in the sun and process. Um, I think most of the time it takes, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so. I try to let it sit on the front side and then flip it over and let it sit on the back. Like, you know, half on the front side, half on the back to get it pretty white. Alright, um, we'll come back with uh, step two of the process after this has gotten as white as we want it. Okay guys, um, it has gotten as white as I want it to. So we're going to go on to step two. And we'll start on the back. And we're just going to hit all those dark spots. Just trying to get it a little bit more centered on there. With the bleach, okay? And we're just going to hit the spots where we want it. Um, kind of look at it, get a general idea of where you think you might want some of the spots to be. And then get your little bottle. My little taco sauce bottle. Uh, bottle, And then um, start doing those little areas. I'm going to start here in the center and try to... Just, I'm kind of twisting and scrunching at the same time. <laughs> Leaving the lid on here, it makes it a little harder. You may not want to leave the lid in there. But um, I just, I don't want it bleeding through. So, let's give it a go. Alright, we're going to start there. Just pour a little bit. Scrunch. Open up. It's going to turn really quick. Make sure you have your hose by. Your water hose. Um, your peroxide. Just trying to hit all these real dark spots here. Get some of that more cowhide color in there. Just scrunching. Picking those little areas that still got some dark to them. Scrunch. Love bugs, you're gonna get bleach all over you. Scrunch. And scrunch with your hand. Open it up. Just trying to get that two toned color. Try to be fast with it. I'm going kind of slow for you guys. So you can get the idea. Don't forget your sleeves. to get those spots they're still brown or not brown but still got some gray or blue in them <coughs> let's see it's gonna turn pretty quick so you just gotta kind of be kind of fast flip it over I did a lot more bleach on this one it's got a lot more white to it which I like that Front now, 
same thing. Get those dark spots, scrunch them, twist them. Pour that bleach on there, scrunch some more. Hopefully you can see all this. If you still have the lid on there, you're gonna have to pull on it just a little bit. Oh, side falling down. Open it up. Look at that area. Make sure you're wearing your gloves because this part's the part that kind of will get your fingers burning. Ooh, we need to get some over here. Scrunch. Scrunch or scrunch. Open up. See how you like it. See if you need any more. Maybe some right here. Maybe some more in the sleeves right quick. Alright. I think that's looking pretty good. Start spraying with some peroxide. Get it to stop. Flip it over. I do notice that the, the navy color is actually a little bit more pinkish to me than uh, more the the gray does more of a copper. Where was my peroxide? run out of peroxide here. Alright. I don't know if y'all can see Dean down there, but he's fixing to not be happy when I start spraying the water hose. Sorry, Dino. He may not care. Just put it over. Watch out, Dino. We'll get peroxide on you, baby. Or not props that, but some bleach. I'm just going to soak it down really good. Get all that bleach out. Sorry, right, Dino. Now, this one's definitely going to have a lot more white to it, but it's fine. I've kind of been wanting to try and get it to get more white. Just keep spraying it down. Get all that bleach out. Dino, why are you so much at it, baby? Alright guys, um, now that I've done that, I'm just going to take the lid out and try to take it in and throw it in the wash. And I will show y'all how it looks when I get the image on there. Okay, guys, this is how the shirt came out. I got my image on there. Super cute. This is probably my new favorite. Came out really good. I like I think I like the Heather Navy. It came out lighter. Like the, the dark spots are lighter than the uh, dark heather. But they both look really cute. I don't know if you can see this. The, I still got some scorching on there. I need to throw it in the in the dryer. If you ever get scorching on there, if you spray, you spray peroxide and let it sit under the heat press, that should take care of it. But if it don't, um, you can spray it down again with peroxide and um, throw it in the dryer for about 20 minutes or so and that should help it. That turned out super cute. I hope this helps y'all. Um, please like and subscribe and I will see y'all next time.